Hello, everyone. Hope you are well on this Thursday night. It's almost into Friday. We have several things going on. I'm going to go over another big train derailment. This one in Wisconsin. We'll go over that. I have another very cool prep item I'm going to show you that I think you should consider having. And I have, of course, a very good passage to share with you that I think you'll get a lot out of. And I also have another important thing to go over that you should know about as well. First, a quick reminder. If you haven't yet, to go ahead and subscribe to Mrs. Dog's channel. I have it in the, the link in the description. Many of you have already. Really appreciate it. She appreciates it. And as the spring progresses, we're going to put a lot more content on that as far as gardening. Uh, also, it serves as my backup channel. So if something happens to this channel, you never know, you know, right? So that then I would go to that channel. So definitely important. If you follow me and watch my videos, definitely want to have that also uh, subscribe to as well. Really appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Another big train derailment in Wisconsin this time. This happened today. Sounds like it was uh, early this afternoon. And it sent multiple freight cars into the Mississippi River, again, into a large river. And I know a lot of times railroads will follow along waterways. I get it. Derailments happen. I know. But they just happen a lot, y'all. Like, a lot, lot. But this one into the Mississippi River, this was BN. SF Railway. This happened about 30 miles south of La Crosse, Wisconsin. It involved freight of all kinds. Uh, the cars that, well, the cars contained paint and lithium ion batteries as well. So a local hazmat crew is on the scene or has been on the scene this afternoon. Unclear how much of a danger this poses, but it always seems to involve a river of some type, a large river like the Mississippi River. And it almost always contains something that is hazardous, toxic, dangerous in some way. So, Again, it's unclear whether this, how big of a threat this is, but I wanted to get it out there to make you aware of it. And that, again, we have another situation. There's been a lot of speculation. This is just one of many wrecks like this this year. There's been a lot of speculation. Why is this happening? Part of it is these things do happen on a regular, you know, just, just any time. But again, like we said, this, this is so many times. There's been speculation that it's uh, domestic terrorism of some type or people are, are, are sabotage. And who really knows for sure? One thing we do know is that we hardly ever or never get a follow-up about why the, the cause of this, of these things. We never, it's always cause unknown, you know, so which makes me suspicious, just, just that in itself. Okay. Share your thoughts on that. <clears throat> Prep item. I've showed this before, but it's been quite a while. And I have a lot of new followers, a lot of new subscribers. So even if you've seen it before, I think this is something good to have. It's not that costly. It's called, I forget exactly what they call it. It's, it's uh, This brand is E-T-O-N. I don't have affiliation with it, but I just think it's a good item to have. But it's like a hand crank emergency radio or weather radio. And it is, like I said, it's hand crank. Now it's, um, I'll show you. It's uh, got like a, a little battery. I guess that's a lithium battery. I'm not sure <clears throat> already in there, but it has on the back, it's got an antenna, long antenna. It has, uh, it can, has ports like uh, USB ports and for electronics that you can, you can um, run it off of. Um, it's, it can run off solar is important um, it's got a light this one has a light there as well so it can serve as a flashlight um, it's compact 
easy to store, handle, easy, to, very light, lightweight. It's not heavy or bulky or anything like that. So uh, I think it's just a cool item to have. It's got uh, AM, FM radio in, in here already. So, um, so yeah, I think it's a cool item. All right. You can get these off Amazon. I think we got this one at, uh, off of Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. I, it wasn't that costly. It wasn't, it was not a budget buster, so to speak. So, all right. So check that out, especially with, the, you know, you never know power outages, <clears throat> all kinds of emergencies. It's just good to have a radio to have some kind of access to what's going on in the outside world, because if the power shuts off, you have no electric, you know, to, to be able to power stuff, then, you know, this is just an easy way uh, to, and it's, and it's solar, you can run it off solar as well, hand crank it. So good way to keep, you know, keep up with what's going on outside of your area or in your area rather. All right. And, and two, just, uh, I was thinking about this earlier. <clears throat> I'm going to share a good passage here in a minute, but there's so much, it seems like more than ever a chatter and noise and stuff flying around the media, the talking heads, what talking head got fired, what talking head is coming back. Uh, you know, it's easy to get distracted. It's easy with all the, all the stuff that's going on and the, and the doomsday and all this and, just don't let that get you down. Don't let that depress you. Don't let that paralyze you and keep you from keeping your eye on the ball, uh, which is first your spiritual readiness and two, uh, just taking care and, and getting your homes in order, your families, uh, keep preparing. Let's keep praying. Don't let, you know, keep doing the things also don't just, and, and do some fun things, you know, install or, Work in some fun outings and treat yourself and those around you. Take care of people around you as well. You know, go to the ball game. Go to the child's game, the grandchild's game, if you can. Graduation. Whatever you can get to. Have get-togethers, neighbors, family, people that are close to you. You know, I think that's very important. Whether that's family, church, neighborhood, neighbors, speaking of neighbors, it's spring, almost in summer, people are outside more. If you have a chance, strike up some conversations. You don't have to get into deep conversations. At least you even know somebody's first name. You know, you never know when you need somebody's help or they need your help. You know, it, and I, we always say here, there's no better security than a nosy neighbor. And everybody has nosy neighbors. Maybe you're that person. You know, you want to see what's going on. Uh, we have a good neighbor right to the back of our property beyond um, the, the green space here back there. You've probably seen it when I'm doing videos back there, but she, they're retired and, and they, you know, they, they see everything, which is good. I'm fine with it. They, they, they see a lot of stuff. One time we had a guy go back and, and we were getting trees put down. We had the guy come out to do an estimate. He was walking around in our back area and on my side and all that looking at our property. And she texted Mrs. Dog and said, hey, you got a man walking around the back area of your property. What the world, you know, so it was immediately texting us. So um, that's what you want, though. That's what you want to see. And the same thing, we keep an eye on things here as well all the time. So hope that is helpful. All right. I have an awesome passage. This is from the devotional book again. I showed this last time, but in case you didn't see it, it's uh, God Post. Uh, it is from Psalm, Psalm 92, verses 12 and 13 says, The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. Amen. Amen. Good times and bad. Let's keep in prayer. Let's keep the communication. Let's keep our walk with Jesus going. You'll be surprised, you know, and when you feel the calling or a tug to go somewhere or do something, really consider that, you know, um, 
sometimes he puts us in situations for a reason. And it, sometimes it doesn't make sense right at first, but it will. I promise it will. And it may not seem like the right thing right then and seem awkward or uncomfortable. But many times it's for a good reason. And it may just be temporary, you know. He may place you in a, in a temporary, uncomfortable situation just to, as, a, as an avenue to get to something a lot better. And you just didn't see it at the time because he can see everything. We can't, you know. So hope that is helpful. All right. Share your thoughts. Just keep preparing. Keep stacking. God bless you. I'll see you soon.